Galaxy. Most impressive. Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So, <laughs> I'm coming live at you from my son's bedroom, but <laughs> there's no uh, there's no Five Nights at Freddy's this week. So, so today, because uh, my wife bought me my new, um, my new Luke Jedi lightsaber, and also I've got the um, Disney Legacy lightsaber as well, and also Ray's, um, I want to I want to put up my son's um, bracket that I bought him for his Darth Vader Disney lightsaber. Now this was from uh, well, this. I think this was one of my last purchases from Amazon, and it's uh, it's like a transparent bracket for uh, for lightsabers. I don't think it was much better. I think it was about eleven ninety nine. One of the, <laughs> but I don't. I mean, if it's any good, I'm gonna, I only ordered one for my son. But if it's any good, I'm going to get a few for me for my lightsabers. But one of the beauties of uh, this particular bracket, I've heard some good things about it, but um, it's actually sold by a company called Plexico Limited, and you can order directly from their website. So I never need to go via Amazon <laughs> ever again. So uh, the plan is, so I've got my my bits and pieces plan is to have it just in that corner there just next to my son's my son's bed if I can get it into into focus so yeah just in the corner there and uh, yeah I've also I've, I've also got another shelf for his Funkos <laughs> um, never ever pay full price these are 10 pounds in Ikea perfect fit for Funko Pops never pay full price because they're always I mean, this was this has never been out of the, out of the packet, but because it's a bit um, damaged or it was a return, um, they're always in the uh, what's it called now? It's called the, the hub or something, but I always call it the, the reject, <laughs> the reject part of the shop. Six six pound fifty. Let your eyes be your guide. So, so yeah. So whenever I, he wants another pop shelf, I always go to the reject bit straight away, and they've always got about three or four there. So, and the plan for that one is to go next to his. Funk is a uh, FNAF Funko Pops up there, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it will go above the window, and I'm not going to hit metal. <laughs> uh, so you know, oh, there's his X-wing. Very, very proud of that <laughs> with his Stranger Things hat. But yeah, but I'm not going to bore you with the uh, with another <laughs> another shelf going up. Uh, but yeah, um, let's get this let's get this bracket up on the wall there's no instructions but the thing is i don't read instructions anyway you probably know that by now so uh, i'll actually <laughs> i don't want to give plexi what's it called um plexico a bad name oh yeah there is there is some instructions so um yeah tell a lie there are some instructions so i'll have a little brief read but what what could possibly go wrong so l let's give this a let's give this, <laughs> let's give this a go Right, so I think the best place for it to go is in the corner here, just above his bedside cabinet. I was thinking of having it next to the window, but I kind of think... See, I don't know if the, um, if the, actual, uh, if the actual blade itself, because it's so close to the window, whether as time goes on, is that going to turn yellow like some of those um, <laughs> Star Wars um, original line Return of the Jedi bubbles, <laughs> carded bubbles? So that's my concern. I don't know. Is it would that go yellow? I don't know if I want to take the chance because he only, he's only got blinds. So he has the windows, the blinds open most of the day. So I'm sort of thinking in the corner here, and then with the uh, with the actual bracket itself. So, in theory, that's the bottom bracket that will go on the wall, and then the hilt should kind of just sit inside that, and then you've got the uh, the next part, which is the top bit. So I need, I need to line it up, but that kind of you feed the blade through there. That's how that's how it sits on the wall. So it looks. It looks good in principle. It's also got some, um, there's some chrome, 
get some chrome bits for the actual uh, screws. So it should look nice, but yeah, if this works out, I'm going to get um, going to get a couple more for my uh, well for my Ray Skywalker and my um, Skywalker Legacy Disney lightsaber. And then once I've opened up my um, my Luke Return as a Jedi, I'd like to put that on the wall as well. So uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's make <laughs> let's make a start. Um, I mean, this is this is a new build. It's one of the things I hate about new build houses is everything is plasterboard so you've got to make sure you've got the right screws and the right supports so I mean the bracket isn't you know the bracket should be alright but it's the, this is quite a heavy lightsaber which we, I, I like the heavy lightsaber so um, oh, we'll have to see we'll have to see but um, yeah let's, let's make a start anyway right so I don't know if you can see it but I've uh, marked out a line of where I want it to go I've moved the bedside cabinet out of the way so that's where I'm going to drill my first hole. I think these plugs that came with the actual fixings, I think they should be all right because it's not like he's going to be <laughs> moving it all the time. It's more for kind of display. So, um, so anyway, let's let's uh, let's get the old drill. I watched um, Ahsoka episode six today. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I mean, we all knew we were going to see a uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, but. Um, but them stormtroopers <laughs> absolutely blew me away. And the um, the actual uh, what was it? The the Grand, Ad Grand Admiral Thrawn's starship, all battered, and it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right here we go again. I've got to be honest. I wasn't that bothered about. <laughs> I wasn't that bothered about Ezra. But no, it was it was it was really really. Um, uh, the attention to detail, even Thrawn's um, uniform being frayed, you know, and kind of worn out. Uh, the, the attention to detail, um, just just amazing. I mean, I won't, you know, what, what, watch the episode. I mean, <laughs> I don't think you'd be watching this uh, lightsaber video if you didn't like Star Wars, so you're probably going to watch it anyway, but I won't give you too many spoilers, but I didn't think Grand Admiral Thrawn's entrance would be... Would would be like that. I just thought it was great. So here's the, here's the bracket. Uh, so that's uh, that's the bottom of the uh, the bracket. So that's when you uh, tighten up the little shelf. Once you slip it in, to stop it falling off. Didn't realise how small the space was in the actual bracket. So I've got my little oh, one of the smallest screwdrivers I've got. Nah, I'm gonna have to go to the garage and get a decent uh, man screwdriver. <laughs> right, that's better. Yeah, that seems straight. So now let's uh, let's put the shelf in. So I better read the instructions for this. So this goes. So that literally just fits there. And I'll need to tighten the bottom up. But you've got to, yeah, you've got to be quite, got to be quite gentle. Let me just check the instructions on how tight you need to do it. It's not as secure as I thought it would be. Now, when that seems all right, it's got a bit too. Mo it's got a lot of movement in it, though. Um, Let's see, let's, let's do the other one. So I need to measure that out. And uh, luckily I've got my son's ruler to help me. <laughs> right, so I've got the lightsaber just set on the bottom bracket. So I've got to choose somewhere for the uh, next bracket to go, but in a way that you can actually uh, pull it out. So probably quite, quite high up, I would say. 
So probably, probably going to go for about here. <laughs> So here's the other chrome bracket. Um, I've just realised the other the, the bottom one seems bottom one seems slightly loose. And I've realised I've I've used <laughs> I've used the plasterboard um, raw plug and not the one supplied. And I'm 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 actually drilling into brick because uh, next door's on the other side of the wall. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take the <laughs> I'm gonna have to take the the lower one off. But let's set this one up um so i'm happy about that because i wasn't it just didn't seem secure but um yeah talking of ahsoka i mean those stormtroopers that look they just look awesome the guy with the gold face is he a robot because he seems to have a robot um voice also there's um thrawn plan to escape in his own um imperial starship or or is he is he going in that um well I assume he's going in that uh that new one with those uh hyperspace propulsion engines. I don't think his uh ship would make it. It was great it was great to see the ship, his uh Thrawn Starship, but kinda of didn't have the same impact um because because of what happened in uh, <laughs> the rise of Skywalker when you saw like hundreds of them so you kind of <laughs> so it's like oh look there's something left over from the uh, Imperial War and uh, really there's there's loads of them out there so didn't have the same impact but it looked absolutely amazing right so let's uh, let's put this bit up so you've got this is the uh, the upper bracket um, but you do need to take the um, the, the cellophane off first which is easier said than done. So that that bracket is a that's a more secure fit because it's got the right um, it's got the right plug in it and also it doesn't need to support any weight. It's just stopping the lightsaber from uh, from falling. So <laughs> now the bottom one is covered in dust, but I've got to take it off anyway because I've got to put the correct raw plug in. So let's do that now. Yeah, that's that's a better fit raw plug straight away. So let's get this get this bracket cleaned up and uh, so Ahsoka will be uh, what well, they're expecting her, aren't they? Because the witches saw it, so she'll be in the next episode. But for me. The, the standout uh, character in Ahsoka, who's probably one of my favourite characters in Star Wars history of all time, is Balin Skull. I mean, he is just amazing. Great actor as well. It's very sad that we lost him not so long ago. But oh, Balin Skull was just amazing. I, I, I just, 
I, <laughs> I, I, I love the show, I love the show, but I'm more interested in his backstory and his history than, <laughs> than, than the Star Wars Rebels element and Ahsoka. If, I, if I'm honest, but I do love, I do love the show. I really do love the show. Right, so let's get this bracket back on. Right, so the blade goes in the top bit. And then the hilt sits there. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Uh, is that straight? I mean, it's got a bit of giving it. You can move it slightly. It's not the most uh, secure bracket in the world, but it's above his. It's above my son's bedside cabinet, so it's not like he's going to walk into it. Um, it's quite easy for him to get it down. That should be right, and also the cost. It was only did I say eleven ninety nine? So yeah, I mean. I think it looks really, really good. Is it straight? <laughs> I think it is. Let's, uh, let's turn it on. No, it does look really good. Let's try and... Because uh... that'll look great in the dark. Yeah, that's yeah, it's not bad. I mean, for the, for the money, I mean... I don't know, I think I might look and see if there are other ones before I uh, pull the trigger and buy a few for myself. But for 11 99 you can't go wrong. It's not bad at all. Let your eyes be your guide. And one of the good things is you don't have to order from Amazon. You can order from Plexico Direct. So... So yeah, not, yeah not, not, a bad, not a bad bit of kit. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. It also helps the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bonus footage. It wouldn't be a video uh, from my son's bedroom without show, at least showing some of his FNAF uh, figures. So um, here's the shelf that I put up that I got the other week from Ikea. And it looks really good. Just uh, just above his lightsaber. That's the one that I did previously. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So he'll, uh, I think he'll be very pleased when he gets home from school. Oh, and also, I've, I've had a look, another look at this um, this actual lightsaber um, display bracket and um, if I'm honest I mean for the price and for what it is and also you know it's, it's lightweight I'll give it 10 out of 10 definitely check out uh, plexico.co.uk um, and yeah I've, I would buy them again but I think I'm going to look at um, other ones because I think they, I think Plexico do um, a, another selection of lightsaber holders because I've, I've now got I've now got three. I've still got to open up the um, Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi from my wife. So I've, so I've now got three to, uh, <laughs> three to uh, display. So I think they do um, kind of like display racks for lightsabers. So I'll definitely be checking it out. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one.